thank you for joining back with me. And we had just got done with uh, Exodus 4, verse 6. Now, Amos 9, 7 says, uh, Are you not as children of Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? So, if you look up the word as, it is in conjunction of meaning the same. So, how are the children of Israel like the children of Ethiopians? The word uh, 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 Ethiopian means one that has been burned by the sun. So, if the children of Israel is like unto the children of Ethiopians, then we are dark like them. We are a black people. We're the same people. Only thing that separates us is land mass. So that's clear uh, 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 in the facts. Now, lastly, we done dealt with some Old Testament. Now let's deal with some New Testament. We're going to move quickly through it. Now, why don't you turn with me to Revelation 1, verse, uh, verse uh, 11 and 12. Through 15, and this is in the uh, the Christian New Testament, and it and Jesus is uh, uh, giving John some uh, some information, and and he gives his description. It says his head and hairs were that this just mean the crown of his head were white like wool, like this. This is this is it feels like lamb's wool. It's nice, thick, and curly. I don't know if I can get my texture in there, but it's thick and wavy and stuff. You know what I mean? That's what that's that's what the uh, the original uh, uh, Israelites and Hebrews uh, um, and Ethiopians. We all look the same. We got this 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 dry curly hair, curly and wavy. You know what I mean? That's our hair texture. You know that that's it. And it says uh, and, and it's like wool. The thicker it gets, the more curlier it gets, and, and, and it's thick, and it's coarse. You know what I mean? So there's a little more coarse than others, but you, know, you get my point. And it says, and his hair were white like wool. What that means? That means he's just elderly. As, as, as any old uh, 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 black man, his hair turns white like it does. It should, or a grayish color. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And his eyes were like a flame of fire. Mm-hmm. And his feet were like fine brass, as if they were burned in a furnace. You want to know what fine brass uh, looks like? Get a penny. Matter of fact, stay right there. I'm going to go grab a penny. Excuse me. See, because we got to clarify the facts. See, because if it's not clear, then we just all out the way. This, this penny, right here. Now look at my skin. Look at my skin. Oh, this is a penny. Make sure that 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 you see is clear. So you see a blinking on there. You see a blinking. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So a penny. My skin is like a penny. So if I'm an original uh, Hebrew. That's that's connected to the land of Ethiopia. So I, I'm an Ethiopian Hebrew, basically. This is how we looked. And so if Jesus is describing himself or what the, the man that, that lived 2000 years ago, because originally his name wasn't Jesus. You need to find out what his true name was because his, his real name was Yahshua. Now. His name wasn't Jesus, and you need to you need to correct yourself on that. No man Jesus ever lived in the annals of history. And you need to know that today, that he never existed, and stop believing on somebody that that's come to come out the sky and, and save you. Ain't nobody coming to save you. That's not how that works. They deceived you. You are looking for a man in your midst to do some work among you like that type of man. But to for someone coming out the sky, I'm sorry, it's just not. How, how is it going to come by satellite? How is it going to TWA, United Airlines? How is it, how is it coming if he's going to come out the sky? There's there is nothing that will be that haven't already been. Know that. 
Know that after this day, that God always works in cycles. Everything that will be have already been done. He don't come and, 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 and give you some virgin birth and stuff like it because that never happened before. So why would he come and do things for you like that now? It doesn't occur like that. You're misapplying the stories. What you need to do is come and sit with some Hebrews and they can tell you how this thing goes. But that's another study. Now, so we clearly see that the man of 2,000 years ago, Yahshua, not, G, not the so-called Jesus, he, his hair was wool. His hair was like wool. And his, and, and his feet was like fine brass has been burned in the oven. So he was a dark man too. So we just have clarified from Genesis to Revelation that the original, um, the original Hebrews that was later in their nationality became uh, 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 is, Israelites because that, that was just name of the nation. But, but culturally they were Hebrews. You know what I mean? It's, so it's, some people say Hebrew Israelites. I don't. I don't suggest that. I just call myself a Hebrew because right now our nation isn't established. You know what I mean? We, we're trying to establish the nation, you know, and I want you to join in with me so that we could be about establishing this nation. This is part of my talk to you today. And that, but it's clear. It indicates clearly that the original Hebrews, not only did they lose their identity, but they were dark. That's what we have uh, established thus far. Now, if everybody else had had the, every, all these other groups that that's uh, the, uh, defining themselves, they know their gods and stuff like that. I'm it's my position and coming forth unto you is saying that 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 blacks, uh, uh, the true Hebrews or so-called black Americans don't know their God. Because if they did, they would do better. They would know better because they would have that, that high knowledge and that high civilization to do different things and, 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 and elevate themselves up out of their condition. But they can't do that because they don't know their God. I'll prove this to you. Let's turn to Jeremiah 4. I'm going to move through these scriptures. Uh, yes. Jeremiah 4.22. It says... For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear right there. It said they don't have no knowledge of him in order to do good. How, how is they going to know of him and his and his ways? It's highways. They they're not low like ours. So it's it's it's, it's clear that the uh, that that the true ones don't know him. Now let's turn quickly to uh, Isaiah, Isaiah uh, one, chapter one, verses. Uh, we're going to start at verse uh, two. Now I'm so glad that you're turning with me, so that you know that I'm not presenting you uh, nothing out of the way. So uh, uh, let's let's look at verse. Uh, let's start at verse two. Isaiah one verse two. Hear o, o uh, hear o heavens, and give ear o earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished children, and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his his owner, the ass his master's crib, but Israel do not know. My people do not consider. So it's clear that the real Israelites don't know their God. It's interesting that they know all other gods, but they don't know the one that will save and redeem them. Um, uh, this can't be no other people but the blacks in America because we identify with other, all other people's culture but in order to come onto our own and do things for ourselves that's something that, that, that we don't want to do. It's clear that we don't know our God. The God that was revealed to uh, different things to us. We don't know him. We had our identity lost. Remember? We are under the, the, uh, the biblical curse of lost nationality. So, of course, we don't know. 
Now we're going to pick up on uh, why the true Jews have lost their, the, the true Hebrews have lost or forgotten their homeland so that we know where the, the true Hebrews is supposed to be right now or is they either they supposed to be in the lands of their captivity or is they supposed to be in Israel today? Now, we, we will be right back with that, and I want you to stay tuned, and I want you to, uh, to walk through this thing with me so that you know that I don't come to present nothing but the absolute truth unto you. Thank you, and we'll be right back.